Hey guys, Crewman here. And Zealous has blown up over the weekend. Of course, when I take some time off, everything changes. Uh, Zealous basically went up 40% in the last 24 hours, generating a lot of new interest in people wanting to mine it. As well as over the, the holiday weekend, we had a new Rigel Miner release, a new 1-0 Miner release, and a new SRB Multi release. So in this video, I'm going to tell you which miners are good, which miners you should avoid, and which miners are just flat out okay. So stay tuned. This video is sponsored by ROH Solutions, which is currently liquidating their GPU mining farm. Take a look at the prices right there. It's very, very, very difficult to beat prices <laughs> that are this cheap. Frankly, I wouldn't sell my GPUs for this. And they even include free shipping and handling to the continental United States only, with a bulk discount of $25 per GPU if buying five or more. Now remember, you only use PayPal goods and services to protect yourself. Again, ROH Solutions is your place to go to buy bulk GPUs at bear market prices. Contact ROH Solutions at gmail.com. This is a sponsored ad read. So I just want to get the easy bit out of the way. SRB Miner Multi, look, he he's attempted to get AMD GPUs to work and he got them to work. The first result was less than underwhelming. I have a link down below to that video. I was waiting for the next release and I had high hopes for the next release. Now he wasn't happy with my video, but look, I gotta be honest. And this is not going to, this, this video update is not going to be one that he's gonna like either because frankly, a 13% performance on AMD GPUs just isn't enough. When 30 series GPUs like the 3070 are getting over 250 kilohash, more on that later, and even GPUs like the 1660 Super are getting about 80 kilohash right now on Rigel, or 70 kilohash, I'm sorry, on Rigel Miner, 13% performance over paltry gains from almost two weeks ago is just not going to cut it, guys. This is another case of why I don't really own that many AMD GPUs to mine with and why, frankly, besides my BC250s, I'm only mining with uh, with two other AMD rigs and I might even be selling one of those off, frankly. Don't, don't bother with it. SRB is not a good miner. You want to pass on this one. AMD GPUs just can't keep up. Even the best, the fastest, the fastest AMD GPU just basically uses half of what a 3070 does. I didn't bother doing any more testing on it. I shot, I put a BC 250 on it for let for, for about 10 seconds and realized it was a waste of time. 13% improvement over the last release. Don't bother with it. He's got to do better. If one zero miner can do better and get back in the game, I don't know why SRB miner can't. And speaking of one zero miner, let's move on to him now. But like I said, SRB miner is a pass for zealous. One zero miner. Now we move on to the original pool mining uh, software for Zealous. If you remember when it first came out, this is what it was looking like. We were getting about 66 kilo ash at about 94 watts, and we actually—I mean, a lot of people, including myself, actually thought it was a core algorithm back then, and it overclocked similarly to Carlson and uh, and Pyramash. Anyway, that Rigel, mi Rigel miner quickly made this miner outdated. And we didn't hear anything from them until this weekend. Take a look at the updated SRB miner. And here you can see the changes. I always get that mixed up. Right here. Uh, quite a bit of, quite an improvement, frankly. Basically takes you on par with Rigel Miner 1.7.2. Or 1.7, 1.17.2. So the 1.0 miner changes are not bad at all. And while we have that up, let's take a look at the power usage from the wall. Now I have a 3070 on a test bench that I use and I wanted to see if they were able to fix the power fluctuation and how much power was actually drawing. And you can see right here, so you can see here that there are no power spikes like they were before. It's basically going from 139 to 141 watts. So in terms of power stability, it is quite a bit of improvement. You can make this more efficient by using memory offsets and memory locks, but it does reduce the hash rate. I got it down to about 85 uh, kilo hash, I'm sorry, 185 kilo hash at about 120 to 125 watts, give or take. Um, so that's, that's a great improvement and 
if Raggle Miner did not release his latest update, I would tell you that SRB, I'm sorry, that 1.0 may be worth using. But the things 1.0 has going against it, as you can see, it uses about 141 watts at the wall. You're getting about 197 kilo hash, which is on par with the last Rigel update. And it is more difficult to mine Zill on this miner, which has everything going against it. So this was a great attempt to buy 1.0 and brings 1.0 back into the conversation. But unfortunately, it just loses out to Rigel. Raggle must be doing some kind of voodoo. I don't know what's going on, but the latest release of Raggle Miner, as you can see right here, basically just blows the competition out of the water. 254 kilohash on a 3070, and check out the power usage. You can basically... So you can see here with Raggle, you're getting between 124 to 127 watts. Now there was a brief spike at 107 watts, but that seemed to be an anomaly as I watched it for like another 30... 30 minutes on and off after that, and I didn't see any issues along the way. It is incredible when you consider that we're getting about 254 kilohash. So the clear winner now is Rigel Miner with 1-0 back in the conversation. Let's see what they can do on the next update. But guys, it honestly isn't really, I mean, it, it isn't really a choice. So it's Rigel Miner is far and away the best miner and pretty much the only miner you should be using on Zealous. Um, you know, one zero, like I said before, one zero is back in the conversation, and unfortunately, SRB just I don't just avoid it right now. It's just not worth your time. Hopefully, he improves. Uh, I feel like AMD GPUs, uh, especially ones that are good with memory, should be able to do a lot better on this algorithm. But you know, I'm not a dev. So maybe there's something I don't know. But like I said before, it is Rigel num Miner number one, one zero at a close number two, but it's still not worth using compared to Rigel. And don't even bother with one zero, or I'm sorry, don't even bother with SRB. It's just not worth using. So I hope that wasn't confusing. I know I, uh, I, know I botched talking about these miners. Sometimes I get them confused in my head. But thank you again for watching. And one final note, overclocks have not changed. I will put a link to my overclocks down below, uh, but basically all of your overclocks are still the same. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU mining, CPU mining, and all sorts of other tech and crypto mining content. We're still on that march to 4,000. My goal is to get there before the end of the summer. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.